Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here just for a quick unboxing and haul video. One is one I bought uh, secondhand on one of the Facebook groups, and then I got a four pack kind of thing from Forever Lux. So let's crack into it. The first thing I want to review today, or the first thing I want to show you guys today, is Aqua de Parma Mira. I found a pretty good deal on this in a Facebook group, so I jumped on it. Um, you know, it's not in perfect condition, but it was a steal and it's discontinued, so I didn't want to miss out. It's about 70% full. Again, I got a really good deal on this, and these are not that cheap anymore. The price is starting to go up a little. Although, this line isn't that cheap, the uh, ingredients line. I think it's a little more expensive. Yeah, this is really, really nice. This is a really nice evening fragrance. Definitely myrrh is present. Definitely patchouli. Definitely amber. Those are the three like big ones. I know there are other things in here. I can get a little bit of the orange blossom, but it's not heavy. So I feel like if you don't like orange blossom, you're not gonna dislike this one at all. So those three main notes are like really what I smell. Myrrh, patchouli, and amber. And they're really good. I think you can smell the nutmeg sweetening it a little bit, although the amber is pretty sweet. So I think you can smell all of those notes, but those three are the most dominant and it's gorgeous. I don't know why they would discontinue this. They discontinue everything. Yeah, this is definitely a really good pickup. I'm really glad I picked this up. And I mean, that means I have about 70 ml of this, maybe, maybe 65, 70 ml. Um, this is definitely what I'm not gonna be decanting. I really like these bottles. I think I'm gonna pick up more Aqua de Parmas, not just because the bottles, but there's a couple that I don't think it, that were hyped and then no one talks about anymore. So I think I may pick a couple of them up. Um, I really like the scent of this. I mean, I just feel like it doesn't have the synthetic, the synthetic vibe that you're gonna get with most things these days. So really enjoying this probably going to review this because with what this smells like i'm going to be wearing it a lot these days i mean patchouli amber myrrh this kind of screams out like cold weather i don't know if it's going to hold up to the cold but i will let you know once i review it next okay so i got an insanely good deal on the tester of i already took it out of the box because I was trying to figure out how to open the box and I opened it, I guess, upside down and it's going to be Creed's Virgin Island Water. I bought the one with no cap because it was a $60 difference and I'm not paying $60 for a cap. So let's go ahead and let's spray it. I really like coconut. I really like lime. I thought there's no way I'm not going to like this. And if, if I don't, well, that'll suck. I do really like this, but this smells like something that I own. Interesting. So I will say this is a perfect vacation fragrance. It does smell kind of a, kind of like a really nice fruit cocktail with the lime and the coconut. The lime is good. It's not a super bold lime, it's in there, but I feel like the coconut is a little louder than the lime. This might be fun to wear in the heat. I mean, obviously this is, yeah, wait, the lime's coming back out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I mean, definitely no regrets, especially for how much I paid for it. Um, I, this was the only Creed fragrance that I was interested in. So when it was like first deal like this, I was like, you know what, I'll pick it up. I may pick up, ooh, okay. It's actually like starting to pop more. I don't know. Usually I feel like the first spray it pops the most, but I like this a lot. It actually smells like two fragrances that I already have blended together, but I still like this a lot. Um, actually, both of them are from Indie Houses, which is really funny. It's really good. Yeah, I have no complaints about this either. And again, for the price that I paid for it, I think this was a very successful Creed. I think that there was a lot of them that would have underwhelmed me, and I was kind of concerned about that, especially for the premium that you pay for Creed. I mean, you guys already know, even at a good price, they're not great. Uh, but yeah, definitely successful one next so this one's box looks like trash so let's open this 
Versace Oud Noir. I don't know what happened here, but it doesn't look good and it looks like it leaked a lot. Okay, yeah, the box has like stuff all over it. I mean, the level is up there. Yeah, it definitely leaked because it's on the box. Oh, and it's all over the atomizer. Yeah, I haven't really dealt with them too much before, but we'll, uh, we'll talk to them and see if they say anything. But anyways, let's spray it. I'm sure it'll spray on the first one. Yep, it certainly did. Really peppery on the opening. The pepperiness in the opening of this is like the pepperiness in the opening of uh, Oud Vini by Mincera. Nice, warm, not too oudy. This is one that I feel like I have to wait for it to dry down to see like how I really feel about it. Um, but I don't have any complaints. I mean, it's from Versace. I'm pretty sure it's gonna dry down to be a people pleaser like everything else. Once the pepper in it, that's, it's just like kind of sharp, a little sharper than I would love it to be. Let's wait on that one. Next. So the last tester is going to be Paco Rabanne Ultraviolet Man. And I'm pretty sure this is discontinued. If it's not now, it will be. Everything does get discontinued, but I wanted it for a specific video and you guys will see what it is eventually. And also, the bottle is kind of cool. Let's give it a spray. It sprays like a staple gun. It's kind of neat. This has something that like I'm a little bit nose blind to, like right off the cuff. It's pretty synthetic, but that's okay. It smells really fresh. Okay, so I looked at the ingredient, or I looked at the notes, and it's really funny because I smell the mint and the amber and the like pepper and spices, but I don't, I'm not getting a lot of the base right now. Well, the oak moss, yeah, but not really the vanilla. Maybe, maybe it needs to dry down a little. I do like the mint. It's a very synthetic mint. It's not like a natural mint. I think this needs to dry down. I, I feel like I'll just do a full review of this because this one, like, I don't... I think it needs to dry down so I can actually get everything in it because right now it's kind of... I feel like messy is the best word. I can, I, I'm telling you, I'm getting the top notes really well. The synthetic mint and... The amber. I'm getting some oak moss from the base. I'm not getting the vanilla. Maybe I'm not gonna get the vanilla, but I do kind of want to let this dry down and do a full review on it to see if it does kind of transform and I get the full dry down, kind of how it goes. But it's really cheap. The testers are like 27 bucks on like Forever Lux, Fragrance X. You can get them really inexpensive. And I mean, it doesn't have a cap, so you don't really have to worry about that. And I have one more, so let's get right into it. All right, so the last one uh, was recommended by Donnie. He actually recommended Inner Realm for Men by Enox. It's supposed to be a dupe of YSL Loam, the original. Here's the bottle. I think this is the only one that I got today that was full presentation. Really plasticky cap, no problem. It was under 20 bucks by the way, just so you guys know. Ooh, that is synthetically sweet on the opening, but in a really pleasing way. I think like the thing I'm smelling the most on this is the cardamom and the tonka, cardamom and tonka, but you can get the sandalwood in there too because it's so creamy. It's got some woods and citruses. Lavender and violet leaf, that's kind of what makes it in this genre and it says ginger and you can totally smell the ginger too this is really good if this performs at all then i don't understand why this doesn't get enough hype shout out to donnie for this oh, this could totally be a glam find 
Yeah, I like this a lot. I'm gonna do a full review on this one, probably before the other ones, just cause, oh, other than mirror, cause I think this needs to be talked about. This smells so good. I'm gonna give it a couple full wearings. Um, it smells, it smells incredible. Under 20 bucks, that's crazy. Um, but real quick, let's go back to the Oud Noir, cause I wanna see if it kind of calmed down a little. The pepper has tamed, not all the way. A little bit from the last time I smelled it. I think this would be a compliment puller. I can totally see it. It's a really warm, spicy fragrance. Those are known to pull compliments. I'm kind of mad about the leaking thing. Um, I'm gonna email them. Just cause it was boxed like trash. I mean, this couldn't have been worse. So other than that, I would say this is a super successful haul. Even if, you know, this leaked a little, I'm not, I'm not too mad about it. I think I lost a few ml um, and the atomizer, I, I can just clean it. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I am actually gonna review all of them, but comment down below. Let me know the order in which you want these reviewed in. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I drop my videos. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Thank you for watching and see you guys on the next one. Bye.